The following is a special presentation of ESPN on ABC. I am Daytona. The coast of sun. I am the town of day. The track of stand up. Get it done. I am Daytona. I am the road well traveled. I am the road ever new. Two and a half miles of hard banked pavement smile. Grinning like firecrackers ready to explode. Follow me into summer, into the excitement. But to victory, only one. I am the sweat. I am the smoke. I am the heat on your skin and the shout in your throat. I am you. The American spirit. I am rock. I am roll. I am country. I am soul. Ride my roar. Throttle my thunder. Side by side into the sun. I am you. I play hard, but work harder. I am patriotism. I am pride. I am the 4th of July. I am Daytona. Let's ride. Season 2 of the Phillips Nationwide Series set to get underway here with the Amp Energy Shootout presented by the new Cool Ranch Doritos Locos Taco. Let's give you the rundown here from Daytona International Speedway. On the pole we got Roger Bowman, then we got uh, Kenny Bale, Sean Henley, DJ Kirker, Cole Daly, Dustin Capps, Morgan Perez, Emily Ister, Jackson Phillips, Billy Bishop, P2 London, Inga Lumliana, Andy Timmons, Will Kirker, Cameron Yetz, Luke Walker, Theo Stiegel, Anna Gregg, Andrew Robinson, Zach Corvette, Greg Anderson, Nick Duncan, Ken Block, and your Season 1 champion, Dom Caps. That's your field here at Daytona in the Amp Energy Shootout presented by the new... Doritos Cool Ranch Locos Taco available now only at Taco Bell. Roger Bowman season one did not go so well, involved in multiple wrecks, including a, a rollover in race number two at California. New Rod, he, he has he has uh he has attracted the sponsors of Burger King, actually. So Burger King will be on his car for the 2013 season here in Season 2 of the Phillips Nationwide Series. New faces, old faces, here in the Phillips Nationwide Series. New cars and new colors and all. Pace car is off. Ladies and gentlemen, the Amp Energy Shootout presented by the Cool Ranch Dorito Locals Taco. Here in the Phillips Nationwide Series Season 2 is green! And look at him go off into turn number 1. Roger Bowman in the 93. Leading him down into turn number 1. Sean Henley following suit behind him. Some three wide action. Andy Timmons back there. New colors, new rides, and the Gen 2 here in the Phillips Nationwide Series. Down the back straightaway, Sean Henley leading the leading the inside line from the five. And Sean Henley will take the early advantage here at Daytona in the Energy Shootout. Old Tony the Tiger on the five. On that five uh, Impala right there. And Sean Henley got the lead by half a car length. 
And here comes a five of Cole Daly, old Tony the Tiger on the hood. On board, look at Ingalam Leona giving a push to the 23. Sean Henley falling back, there's a 23. And there's Ingalam Leona in her new ride, the 25 Budweiser Impala. Cole Daly so far has the lead, but here comes Inga Lamliana in the 23 being held by uh, her teammate in the 8. Andy Timmons is there. Emily Ister starting to drift back just a little bit. There's Will Kirker, Roger Bowman, Cole Daly, and there's Luke Walker in the 17 this, this season in Season 2. Pushing his teammate, or his, not his teammate, pushing uh, the eight car to the point here at Daytona. <clears throat> so Luke Walker, no, now Luke, now uh, Walker's going to contend for the lead here in the early going. No points. And there's the season one champion, Dom Caps. Got his champion as you ride aboard. Got his championship on a thrilling finish at Homestead last season. And the... Uh, Diet Mountain Dew, four, three hundred, three wide all over the place. And we got a three wide battle for the lead. Will Kirker, Roger Bowman, and Anna Gregg are leading this train. There's the 55. Five hour energy Toyota. And look at this field. Three wide, about eight, maybe 10, 11, 12, 13 rows deep. Here comes the 9. Greg Anderson in the 27, pushing the 9 to the point. That's Andrew Robinson. Gen 2 is producing a lot of great racing here. Look at the run that Anderson gets in the 27. He goes to the point with Zach Corbett behind him. With your season one champion following suit, Nick Duncan in the in the 16 Subway Mustang. Look at this field here at Daytona. Lap 5 of 20. It's a pretty long race. Dom Caps, your season one champion, Zach Corbett goes to the point. On board, Corbett looking at your season one champion, Dom Caps, Greg Anderson. Falling back. Timmons and Henley. Well, Henley's falling back, but, uh, but, but Andy Timmons making up some ground inside the top 10. Zach Corvette in the 2, falling back. That will hand over the lead to the 0 2 of Ken Block. Remember, he started in the back of the pack. And here comes Nick Duncan in, the, in that 16 Subway Mustang. New colors for Duncan here in Gen 2. And Block led that lap, but it's this is a no points race. This is just to get a feel of the new car. And there's Theo Stiegel in the 20, sporting some colors of uh, Tony Stewart's old ride. Back in 2003, Home Depot on the hood for the season. And look at Nick Duncan wheel that car off into turn number three, P2 London. In the 18, has his teammate behind him. So it's Toyota, 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 Dodge, uh, Dodge, Ford, Ford, Chevy. Pretty mixed up uh, front of the field here. P2 London goes to the point here at Daytona. Everyone wants to get a feel of, of, of these new cars as Kenny Bale goes to the lead in, in, in the 11. Kenny Bale has FedEx... There's Fenex Freight on the hood of his 11 machine this season. The 54 helping your season one champion. Dom caps to the point. Sean Henley in the 32 following suit. And uh, so far so good in terms of cautions. Still early in the race. But with these guys three wide and bouncing off each other, literally, we could see a crash. We don't know what Gen 2 has in store for us this season. But they're, they're doing good so far in terms of uh, staying, staying out of uh, trouble here. But anything can happen in these new cars. 
No testing for these cars. They were immediately put on the track for practice, so that was considered their test. And they ran pretty good, and uh, Dom Cash, the season one champion, goes to the front. Sean Henley following Stu in the in the 32, Mike's Hard Lemonade, uh, Impala. Little competition going on here. In uh, Season 2 of the Phillips Nationwide Series in the Amp Energy Shootout, presented by the new Cool Ranch Doritos Locos Taco, available at your local Taco Bell. Uh, cool Ranch Dorito Taco. Uh, adding on to the Doritos Locos Taco, the original one was the Nacho Cheese one. Now they come out with the Cool Ranch one, so go to your local Taco Bell and try it today. The new Cool Ranch. Doritos Locos Taco at Taco Bell. Only at Taco Bell. On board, Jackson Phillips, Ingle Lomiana following suit behind him. <clears throat> Excuse me. And Andy Timmons, is, I think, I think in the 17. So far, so good. And look at this pack. They're starting to get a little three wide racy back there. But it's a two by two by two by two by two by two by two. And it's a three wide. With Dustin Caps in the middle back there, Emily Ister on the inside line. And there's Emily Ister in the 43, sporting the colors of Richard Petty, driving the 43 footer for the late Mark Ister here in the Phillips Nationwide Series. Tragically lost his life in a crash at Watkins Glen after the after uh, Phillips Nationwide Series concluded their race at the Glen. Mark climbed into his prototype and had a very terrible crash. So the 43 is still on track for Mark Ister. Emily Ister driving that car. Sean Henley thought something, but he blocked it. He saw something going on in his mirror, but he, but he quickly said, No, sir. This is my lead, and I'm going to take it. Luke Walker in the 17 goes to the lead. Inga Lamliana behind him. So far, so good. No more three wide yet. It's still early, folks. Anything can happen here at Daytona. And we are just... This is just the beginning of a productive speed week for the, for the Gen 2 cars. We have yet to see what 42 cars have to, have to prove in the season opener. Don't miss the Camping World 300. At Daytona, the season opener for season two. Don't miss the Camping World 300 here on the Phillips Nationwide Series. Morgan Perez in the 13 goes to the point following suit is his is uh, her teammate, but now gets kicked up to the high side. Andrew Robinson wants to go to the point. Don't get confused with Zachary Robinson or Andrew Robinson. I think they're brothers. Uh, Zach Robinson has uh, the season opener win here at Daytona in season one. So he is your defending track winner for season one and, and the season and the season opener uh, in the Phillips Nationwide Series. So he is our defending race champion of the season opener. Who is going to be the defending winner of the shootout when it gets time to get down to it? Don't know yet. Could be anybody with the way they're running now. There's three wide again. Emily Ister pushing the 93 of Roger Bowman back to the point. And you're on board with Bowman here. New, uh, new car, new colors. And a very sporty Roger Bowman after having an unsponsored dodge in Season 1. If you didn't see Season 1... At Auto Club Speedway, he had a terrible ride when he flipped over. But the safer barrier catched him. And he was able to finish the race. Although, 18 laps down in the 34th position. Here comes another pass for the lead, Will Kirker. And here comes Zach Corbett being pushed by Greg Anderson here in the 27 down the back straightaway. Here at Daytona, little bit of a three wide action going on back there, but nothing going on up front. And I spoke too soon. Here we go, three wide. 
Will Kirker has Attack Flare Impala out in front. That's where you'll want to be to avoid trouble. If you're in back, like they are right now, you're in big trouble. Oh, he tried to block it, but he hangs on and leaves the lap. He tried to block him, but uh, Anderson saw what he was doing and immediately ducked it down to the inside line. Now here comes the 22, DJ Kirker. Will Kirker and DJ Kirker believe they are brothers, but they are competitors here on the racetrack. Dodge and Chevy. Two completely different makes here in the Phillips Nationwide Series for DJ and Will Kirker. Now Dom Caps has help from his teammate Morgan Perez in the 13. So far, so good through the first few laps here at Daytona. But we're going to step away for a quick commercial break. Don't go away. No, we're not going to take a commercial break just yet, folks. My bad there. Not going to take a commercial break just yet. We're going to let you go here and see what we can see here. But oh, here we go. Here we go. I thought that was a wreck, but it was a, it's a three-wide battle for the lead now. Here comes Nick Duncan pushing his teammate and your season one champion Dom Caps to the point. Dom Caps help from his teammate Nick Duncan in, in the in the 16 subway forward, pushing him to the front here at Daytona. So far, so good through the first 17 laps. But what are we going to see in the final three? Don't even know yet. Ten second station identification there. But we're back live here at Daytona. And we got a pass for the lead now. Finally! Nick Duncan in the 16 goes to the point. Being pushed by Dustin Caps in the 10. That outside line is reigning supreme. But so far, so good through the first 18 laps. We're going to take a quick commercial break, folks. Don't go away. The Amp Energy Shootout is coming right back here from Daytona. Don't go away. Say hola to the new Cool Ranch Doritos Locos Taco. It's the taco you've been looking for. And welcome back to Daytona. Live coverage of the Amp Energy Shootout presented by the new uh, Doritos Locos Taco Cool Ranch Doritos Local Taco. Here from Daytona, we have just crossed the two lap mark. It's getting really crazy up front. Sean Henley took the lead while we went to commercial break. And the field is getting bunched up again. But is that going to be enough for Sean Henley to win this race? Not by a long shot, folks. We still got a lot of laps to go. A lap and a half to go for Sean Henley. Can he win it? And can he be the shootout winner? We'll find out, folks. Impala and Impala leading the field to the white flag here at Daytona. One lap to go for Sean Henley. Can he win it? Or will anybody out of this pack get a run? The white flag is out. If we get a caution, the race is over. Down the back stretch they go. Who is going to get the charge? Half a lap to go. Down the back straightaway. A good run. The 11. But they're side by side. That's what Henley wants to see. Nobody's going to have anything for Henley. Coming off a of turn number four. Sean Henley is going to win the Amp Energy Shootout at Daytona. What a run for Henley. 
And what a way to start the season off. Sean Henley becomes your 2013 Amp Energy Shootout winner here at Daytona. And what are we going to see with a 43 car field and Gen 2 running so close together? What are we going to see in the in the 300? We'll find out. The Camping World 300 at Daytona is coming up here in just a matter of days. But for now, the Amp Energy Shootout is in the books. Good night, folks. Season 2 will get started at Daytona next week. Good night, folks.